Macmillan started off 100 years ago uh, when Douglas Macmillan founded the charity following the death of his father from cancer. Now that people can speak more openly about cancer and cancer treatments and they're getting better information about it, they realise that Macmillan's for people at any stage of their cancer. I think over the last 100 years there's been a, a dramatic change in how we deal with patients with cancer. A cancer diagnosis is a bit like throwing a brick into a duck pond, it just the, the ripples go far and wide. The stories that you hear day in day out, it just gives you so much strength to carry on in doing what you are doing. The future has just come to this grinding halt I think, you know. Yes, you do get low and you do worry about what's going to happen. It affects the whole family. My initial reaction obviously was shock. We didn't know whether I was going to live or die. Hearing uh, that the daughter was diagnosed, that, you, you always think the worst. I've been living with cancer for 17 years now. It's part of my life. We just do what we need to do uh, to survive. People who have incurable cancer can be helped to live good productive lives, sometimes for years. People who have cured cancer may well have problems long term related to the cancer in its treatment. Our job is to reach and improve the lives of everyone living with cancer. We're a force for change, we're a source of support. Emotional help, physical help, financial help, if you need it, Macmillan can provide it. We couldn't have done any of it without our, our supporters, our volunteers, our professionals and our employees. You pick up the phone and you can give the Macmillan nurse immediately. With the Macmillan, it's instant. It's there and then. So you really need someone who's filtered all the information and gives you something you, that is secure and you can rely on. Helping people access benefits to replace some of their earnings. I didn't know whether or not um, I would have been able to support her financially. And I help them in terms of increasing their income, but also the emotional support that we provide as well. I enjoy, that's my favourite bit. People are living longer and longer with cancer. That means that we've got about two million people living with cancer now. It's going to be four million in about 20 years' time. More and more people are going to need our services and what we can provide. We increasingly want to see more service in the community and that's through the whole spectrum, through people living with cancer um, to people being able to die at home if they wish to. People with cancer no longer have to pay for their prescriptions, you know, that's free because of Macmillan's campaigning and we've persuaded the new government to spend more money on, on drugs for cancer that their doctors recommend. And Macmillan's ambition is that regardless of where you live in the UK, what type of cancer you have, that you should have the best possible treatment, care and support. And what you see is an organisation that's joined up. You see people who've got an absolutely dedicated uh, commitment to making sure they deliver the best possible service. And I dread to think what it would be like to not have that support there. Macmillan is almost 100% funded by the general public and they do that in many different ways from running marathons, holding coffee mornings and supermarket collections to giving legacies and even climbing mountains. Both businesses and people touch so many people in healthcare uh, and together we can touch so many more and it's just more than charity, it's much more about being together in the community for our patients and for our people. It's a fantastic partnership. The more people that join Macmillan, the more we can help. I mean, that's, at the minute, one in three people are affected by cancer. It, it affects pretty much everybody in one way or another, whether they're living with it or whether they've got a relative living with it. So it's important to everybody. I wish you all the best for the next 100 years. I am Macmillan. 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 We are We are all Macmillan. I would just like to thank Macmillan Unit, all the nurses and all the doctors, because they've been fantastic and made my life worth living again.